Eight Worst Foods for Gut Health Hello, lovely viewers. Have you ever considered how foods affect your digestive system? The solution is centered on your gut microbiome, which is home to millions of minute organisms such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Because your gut health is dependent on your microbiome, certain foods can have a negative impact on its composition if consumed in excess. The bacteria that contribute to the distinctive operation of your digestive system are influenced by the foods you eat every day. Today, we have an important topic to discuss. If you want to maintain good digestion and overall health, stick around because we're about to unveil some surprising culprits that may be harming your gut. Welcome back to Discovery Wellness. 1. Red Meat So, you love your juicy steaks and succulent burgers, but have you ever wondered what they could be doing to your body? Well, here's the scoop. Eating red meats can increase the levels of n nitroso chemicals in your body, and those little troublemakers are known to wreak havoc on the lining of your precious bowel. These n nitroso chemicals are no joke. They can lead to gout attacks, indigestion, and that dreaded stomach bloat. It can trigger the development of gut bacteria that may clog your arteries and increase your risk of heart disease. That's right, your beloved red meat might just be paving the way to heart problems. And now, the big one. Diets high in red meat may also lead to colon cancer. It's a serious health concern that we all need to be aware of. Colon cancer is no joke, but luckily, there are alternatives. Dietitians recommend going for lean protein sources like fish or plant-based proteins, such as beans and tofu. These options can give your body the nutrients it needs without all the risks associated with red meat. 2. Heavily processed foods. Frozen dinners, fast food, white bread, and the majority of canned vegetables are all examples of highly processed foods that might harm the gut microbiota. These meals do not provide an optimal environment for the growth of beneficial bacteria, since they are high in unhealthy chemicals such as sugar and preservatives and poor in fiber. The sugar promotes the growth of undesirable bacteria, whilst a lack of fiber in your gut hinders the creation of healthy bacterial colonies. These convenient snacks may taste great, but they're packed with artificial ingredients, preservatives, and excess sugar that can wreak havoc on your gut. Say goodbye to those heavily processed foods if you want a healthier gut. 3. Fructose Fructose is a natural sugar found in many fruits that, if ingested in large quantities, might disrupt your gut microbiome. It may enhance gut permeability, allowing toxins to pass through the digestive tract and enter the circulation. Sucralose, saccharin, and the polyol compound family have been identified to alter the quantity and composition of bacterial colonies in the gut. These alterations can result in an unbalanced gut, allowing bad bacteria to thrive while destroying healthy gut bacteria colonies. 4. Fried Foods Fried foods are clearly on the list of the worst foods. Hot oil-based frying can improve the texture and aroma of meals, making them more enticing to eat. However, it is an unhealthy cooking method because frying increases the energy density of foods. As a result, energy consumes and degrades oils by oxidation and hydrogenation, resulting in a loss of unsaturated fatty acids, such as linoleic and linolenic acids, but an increase in trans fatty acids, oil degradation, and advanced glycation end products. Heated oil can be absorbed by fried meals and when consumed, can harm your gut microbes. Even the oils commonly used in deep frying, such as corn oil, canola oil, or soybean oil, have been discovered to be notoriously dangerous. Fried meals can also trigger stomach upset, which is a symptom that something is wrong with your gut microbiota. You might want to reconsider buying French fries or donuts the next time. Five, excessive dairy. Lastly, Let's address excessive dairy consumption. While dairy can be a good source of nutrients, too much can lead to digestive discomfort, especially if you're lactose intolerant. Yogurt and kefir are well-known fermented dairy products that aid the digestive system. 
Unfermented dairy products, on the other hand, appear to disturb your gut microbiota. Cow's milk, being an unfermented product, can negatively affect gut flora by allowing negative bacterial strains to colonize and push out good bacteria. Don't put your gut in danger if you are lactose intolerant or sensitive to dairy products. There are dietary options, such as full-fat coconut milk or almond milk, that can fulfill your thirst without worrying about the negative consequences. 6. Gluten Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. It's what gives dough its elasticity and bread its chewy texture. You might be wondering, what's the big deal about gluten? Well, for some people, it can be a big problem. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder where gluten consumption triggers an immune response, damaging the lining of the small intestine. Gluten can cause inflammation in the gut for people with celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity. 7. Alcohol and other beverages. Drinking alcoholic beverages on a regular basis can alter the makeup of your gut microbiota and stimulate the growth of harmful bacteria resulting in an imbalanced gut. An unbalanced gut can result in increased gut permeability, which can contribute to a variety of health problems. Furthermore, coffee, soda, and excessive chocolate consumption might boost the caffeine in your body, which speeds up your intestines. Caffeine induces diarrhea due to the excitation it produces in your digestive tract. 8. Caffeine Excessive caffeine consumption can lead to a not-so-pleasant surprise for your digestive system. It can cause acid reflux and heartburn, which can be incredibly uncomfortable. Your morning jolt of caffeine might be causing you more harm than good. So, why does this happen? Caffeine relaxes the lower esophageal sphincter, which is responsible for preventing stomach acid from flowing back into your esophagus. When this muscle relaxes too much, it can result in that burning sensation we all want to avoid. So limit your caffeine intake to a moderate amount. Aim for no more than 400 milligrams per day. And that's all for today. Remember, a balanced diet plays a significant role in maintaining your gut health. So make conscious choices to nourish your body from the inside out. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family who might benefit from this information. As always, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.